So today we've got five uh, body weight exercises you can do at home. We're gonna uh, target the whole body uh, and each exercise has got three levels. So uh, you can go based on how, uh, how competent you are uh, with exercising. Let's get started. Exercise one, we've got squats. So this is a quad dominant movement. Uh, Ben's gonna demonstrate here. So he's gonna set up and he's gonna squat down, keeping his chest nice and tall, keeping a nice flat back. Moving on, level two. Again, he's gonna go down to around parallel, keeping the chest nice and tall, and then driving back up through the front, uh, foot in front. So this is the third uh, level in the knee dominant progression. So we're gonna go single leg, we're gonna drop the back knee down to the floor and then drive back up all on that single leg. The second uh, exercise, we've got our, our push. So we're going upper body, elbows coming back at around 45 degrees to the body. So we want our, our body to look like an arrow and then we're pressing back up. Good, nice. Level two, we're gonna drop down onto the floor. So this is gonna make it a little bit more difficult. Technique stays exactly the same, straight line from the shoulders to the heels. Good, Ben. And then level three, he's gonna elevate his heels. Again, this can be done on the sofa or, or, or a chair or something at home. And technique stays exactly the same, so this is gonna increase the intensity of the movement again. So we're gonna move on to our hip dominant uh, lower body stuff, so the glutes and hamstrings. Dig the heels into the ground, dig the big toe into the ground as well. And then we're gonna drop the hips to the floor and then squeeze all the way up. Level two, we're gonna do exactly the same. We're gonna go single leg. Same movement, keeping those hips tucked under. Good, and you'll notice he's just got the top of his back on the bench, and as he drops down, his spine stays in a nice straight line, and then he drives all the way back up. Level three of this, we're gonna spin it round, so he's gonna elevate one foot. So he's gonna go single leg, and he's gonna perform the same movement. So because we've elevated the foot, we're gonna target more of the hamstrings. So we're gonna go for a, a pike press up now. So he's gonna drive his hips up as high as he can, keep his feet nice and close, and he's gonna drop the top of his head down to the bench. Level two will be down onto the floor into a press up position, then we're gonna walk the feet in. And then exactly the same, he's dropping the top of his head down to the floor and then driving up. Level three of this, we're gonna elevate the feet, so increasing the intensity again. Hands are gonna be in the same position, hips are gonna be nice and high in the air, and we're dropping the head down to the floor and then driving back up. So we've got a towel wrapped around a door handle. He's gonna grab both ends of the towel. He's gonna to lean back to whatever angle he feels comfortable. And then he's gonna drive his elbows in, squeezing his shoulder blades together. Progressing from this, we're gonna hold both ends in one hand. So we're we good there. And then same rules apply. So walk uh, the feet in, so at about 45 degree angle, and then drive that elbow back, keeping the chest nice and tall.